Lucinda Hudson gardens with a passion. Against vivid backdrops, her floral flamboyance changes its color scheme across the calendar. Wildlife on the ground and in the air heads straight for her perpetual party. Neighbors and various friends often drop by for a bolt of inspiration, a soothing chat framed in fragrance, or a taste sensation in her tequila cantina. Author of the Herb Garden Cookbook and Viva Tequila, a spirited tour of Mexico's folklore, agaves, and recipes, Lucinda brings her love of Mexico across the border. I love color in my garden, and I think so much. I grew up in the desert in El Paso in an adobe home with gravel and cacti, and I think traveling through Mexico just so inspired me, just the beautiful colors, you know. Poor little towns would have turquoise and purple and hot pink houses, and it was just so cheerful. So I think I brought that home. And my grandmother loved purple, so I think a lot of living in a purple house is an homage to my grandmother. <laughs> she doesn't tuck it all away in back. Seasons tumble together in Lucinda's front garden that rarely takes a rest. She magnifies flowery color with culinary herbs, succulents, and grasses. By mixing companionable plants, each season boldly shows off. Every month, if not every week, something new takes the spotlight. And of course, Brigmansias that I grow around that garden, which to me are the most sensuous, beautiful, aromatic flowers in the world. Although her garden is pretty small, her design makes it seem very roomy. From the street, get the full impact. Cruise down the sidewalk for closer whips of fragrance and tucked in surprises. Her sweet myrtle topiary reflects her joyful spirit. And for all the people she welcomes with open arms, a humdrum entrance simply wouldn't work. From the porch, it's a different sensation. She switches modes from sunny exuberance to tiny serenity and shade. I love that. You know, I used to have grass there and it's under my ginkgo tree and it was kind of too shady and the grass kept dying. I just love the textures. To match its quiet mood, she framed it with a cedar birdhouse bench and fence styled to match. Another house attracts purple martins that return in late winter. They're the most wonderful birds in the world, aren't they? They're so friendly, they want you to talk to them. Her design corralled the public view into privacy nooks. To amplify her edible garden space, Lucinda designed a front salad or pesto bar, depending on the season. And I love the salad bar that I can just go out and pick just what I need for salads. Nasturtium flowers to garnish, salad burnet, all the lettuces, spinach, arugula. And then in the summer, it turns into more of a basil bed because it's too hot for the, for the greens. So it's so neat to be able to just go out and pick what you want for the day. Heading to the back, Don Juan climber rose and summer blooming Brazilian sky flower gladly timeshare. Her mermaid grotto is rooted in her history. I used to go fishing with my dad all the time in, in Baja in Mexico. So mermaids and fish are just really symbolic to me. I'm a Pisces. Since neighborhood children love to visit, Lucinda leaves them a pint-sized surprise. All the children just love these little shiny flat marbles. They're the biggest treasures for children. Of course, when I cleaned the pond this year, there were an inch of marbles. They love to come throw the marbles in there too. But these old kids have left me. I'll go outside sometimes and there'll be a beautiful little handmade card. Thank you for your garden. Local artist Melody Lambert did the mosaic tiles. She also styled Lucinda's iconic Mexican nicho in a bathtub. It's a clawfoot bathtub. Gosh, I've had that for at least 20 years, and we put stones all around it to really make a nicho. I call her Our Lady of Latina, and it's kind of a play on words, because of course, Latina, but La 
Tina means the bathtub. A Tina is a bathtub. So she's kind of the protectoress of the garden. And, and I have to say, whenever I leave town or go on a trip, I go and ask her to look over my garden and my animals. Melody's corn mosaic window treatment grabs attention, even when fall blooming queen's wreath isn't in flower. Lucinda's wall of chairs is more than dressing up. In Mexico, oftentimes, because they don't have a lot of space in their houses, and they use outside courtyards a lot, and oftentimes chairs are just nailed up on the wall, so you bring them down for guests. I remember my nephew once wanted to sit in the chair that was this big. He was four, and he kept trying to sit in the, <laughs> this chair, you know. But the kids all come get their little chairs. It's so sweet. And as they do in Mexico, of course, they have the flat roofed houses and they don't have a lot of room for gardens. So they'll have pots on their roofs with the plants on it. So I got the idea to put my agaves on the roof. Unfortunately, they can freeze. I had a 10 year old agave, probably just about ready to send her shoot into the sky. And we had an awful ice storm and she died. Even her tasty kitchen garden near the old garage styles up for all perspectives. But still, it's kind of the scent and aroma and flavor of plants and color that brings so much joy to my recipes, especially in my entertaining. Her giant-sized Dutchman's pipe feeds pipe vine swallowtail caterpillars. Another charming gate leads to a completely different venue, a shady dining cove tucked between the house and her chapel-styled office. Her exterior design with treasures old and recent extends the bungalow's small living space. And you know, the back door with all the milagros, that's my favorite, with all the silver milagros and color. And it's just so that every door or entrance into the house shows that there's going to be a surprise in there. <laughs> her stairway to heaven, designed by artist Celia Berry, indeed leads to a heavenly spot, her kitchen. Even in her small backyard, she pumps up the size with different rooms. Her tequila cantina, complete with outdoor shower, flavors up this shady spot. The cantina is built off the back of the garage and I got horseshoes at the Mexican flea market this year and trimmed the whole cantina with Mexican horseshoes. Of course, she had to include a blue agave, the official tequila succulent. Since it's not cold hardy, she moves it to warmth in winter. My garden is so much a part of my life. It's, it's what I do instead of going on vacations. Do you know what I mean? Maintaining this garden is huge. But I also think of it as the neighborhood park. I've had three children learn to walk here. People are always in my garden, but more than that, the bumblebees, the birds. I have a pet spider up here, Charlotte. <laughs> the creatures. What are we gonna do? People are not providing any atmosphere or environment for them. People expect to see my garden like this.